is we have our beef short ribs, we've got some celery, onions, and carrots. Uh, along with this, we're gonna need a little bit of bay leaf, uh, some whole garlic, some red wine, and uh, a little bit of beef stock to, to bring everything together. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna take some of these short ribs here, and they've been trimmed up slightly. Uh, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna season this up first. So just a little bit of salt, and a little bit of pepper on that. And um, what you're gonna need also is, you're gonna need a braising pan, something with uh, maybe about a one and a half inch to two inch uh, sides on it, so that it's gonna accommodate a little bit of our liquid that we're gonna be adding with it. So over here, I've got, I'm starting off uh, with about a medium high, high heat, and we wanna initially brown the, the, uh, the short ribs first. So um, I'm just gonna take a little bit of oil, into my pan there. I'm gonna take my short ribs. And what we wanna do is get some nice caramelization of the meat here. So we're gonna place that into our pan here and allow that to brown nicely. Okay, so I browned the uh, short ribs here all the way around and I've removed them out of my pan. So in the same pan now, I'm going to uh, start uh, with my carrot, celery, and onions. So I've started off by sauteing off my carrot, celery, and onions. Uh, I've cooked them out slightly so that just to cook, uh, just to cook out that initial rawness of the vegetable. Uh, once that's done, what I did was I hit it with a little bit of red wine uh, to deglaze the bottom of the pan. At the bottom is there's this wonderful pond that uh, basically is the juices of the, the short ribs that were left in the bottom of the pan and they browned on the bottom there. So by adding my red wine, it softens it up and it helps bring up that wonderful flavor back into the braising liquid that we're going to uh, be adding to this app. So now once the red wine is reduced, I'm now gonna take my short ribs, I'm gonna place them back into my pan here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna combine all the remainder of my ingredients into this. Uh, pan. So, uh, first of all, I'm going to add some whole garlic to this. I'm just going to add a couple cloves. I'm going to also add uh, a couple bay leaves to that dish. Um, to that, I'm going to add uh, a few sprigs of thyme and maybe about a half a sprig of rosemary. Now, what we have to do also is we've got a little bit of beef stock here, warm off to the side here. In braising, what we need is, a, a braising is a process of using uh, both dry heat and moist heat. So with my beef stock, I'm going to add to my pan here enough liquid so that it just comes halfway up the side of the meat that we're braising. Okay, we don't want to cover it up entirely uh, because if we do, we end up boiling the meat, which is braising the meat. Um, so uh, we add enough liquid just so that it comes up halfway up the sides of the meat and we want to allow that to come to a nice simmer. Okay, so I've placed it in an oven proof dish here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover this up and we're going to put it into a 350 degree oven for approximately anywhere from an hour and 45 minutes to as long as two and a half hours. Now it really depends on the cut and the size of the, 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 uh, the short ribs that you, you prepared. So we're gonna place that into our yeah. oven and we're gonna allow it to cook. Now it's important that you come back to the uh, short ribs um, after let's say about an hour and 15 minutes in order to take a look at the, the amount of juice that's in there because some, it has a tendency to evaporate. So you wanna make sure that there's still enough braising liquid as it's cooking. It's been about an hour and 45 minutes and the uh, short ribs are done and they're gonna be wonderfully fork tender. So let me just show you how fork tender they are. And literally you can just take a fork here and just pull everything apart and you don't need uh, a knife to cut this. Uh, you can literally just pull this apart.